Greetings and welcome students. This is Ambika Singh, your educator and we have reached lecture number 27 in your CBSC Time Saver course for English, class 12 CBSC. And uh, we are going to be doing advertisements today. We started with writing skills in the last class and you already know we have short answer type questions and long answer type questions in writing section. Uh, and writing skills, as I always say, is not something that you immediately wake up with or immediately learn just because you have a CBSC exam coming up or you are in class 12th and marks are important. It is something that is the process of many years. If I can write something today, it is because I have worked hard on it for all the years that I have lived or all the years that I have been uh, formally educated or informally educated in whatever capacity. But writing skills has a lot to do with years of labor, with years of effort, with repetition, with practice. Uh, so if you are not very good at it, please make sure that you up your game a little bit in that uh, respect because it is extremely important for you to have good writing skills, have good communication skills because in the professional sphere you would need these skills more than anything else. All right. So in the last class we did notice and uh, three mark question, three mark question and short composition. Advertisements also is, uh, advertisements also are of three marks in your syllabus. Usually in choice, in as an alternative choice, as, as an alternative in uh, the exam. So you would have a notice question and an or there and then an advertisement question. So you could choose to do notice in the exam or you could choose to do advertisement. But from the study point of view, you are doing both because exams are unpredictable. What if you do not want to attempt a notice question in the exam, even if you have prepared notice? So you should be prepared, you should be armed with the ability to write both and also they are quite simple, they are not very lengthy, so good to study both and choose to do whatever you want to do in the exam. And also things are changing so frequently these days in the CBSC pattern, CBSC style of exam. You, we do not know what would be the pattern by the time you are writing the exam. But if we have the topic, you should prepare both of the topics. So do not leave things to like there would be choice in the exam because what if the choice is of no use to you. Okay. So advertisements, what are advertisements? Ads, you see them all everywhere. Everything is an advertisement around you. You have uh, billboards. Like if a new TV series is being launched, there is a new, there is a new billboard. There is um, a new phone being launched by a company. You see a billboard, right? That is an advertisement. So you are driving the car and you are looking at advertisements, but some of the, those advertisements are so catchy also. So they take your focus away from what you are doing. You are driving. <laughs> so they are meant to influence your mind, catch your attention. If you are constantly looking at an advertisement, the advertisements, the investment of money in that advertisement is all worth it for the company because they were able to distract you. So advertisements are supposed to catch your attention, they are supposed to distract you, they are supposed to influence you, brainwash you sometimes. So advertisements are a part of the life that we live because we have a capitalistic structure around us where people are trying to sell things. So if you sell things, your intentions are to generate business for yourself. So commercial advertisements are usually to generate business. Okay. And then there is, uh, there are classified advertisements which are for small scale needs like for selling an old car, for wanting an, you know, if you want an old used car for yourself, if a child has gone missing, so there would be a classified advertisement. So some advertisements are not for larger corporations and companies, they are classified ads. Some advertisements which take a lot of money, a lot of investment, they are for, they are commercial advertisements. So you have both classified and commercial advertisements in your syllabus. Okay, point noted, right? So like notice, because obviously it will be in choice with notice. So it is also of three marks and again, even in this one, the division of marks would be based on content, format and expression. Content is what information you are giving, what kind of, what, when, how are you able to answer. Expression is the kind of accuracy, exp, you know, beauty of your language, 
everybody has different expression, everybody is different from each other. You may be writing everything in the same format, but your answers are very different because you have, you are all different, you are all unique creatures. And format is box, writing it here, giving this heading, writing the date here. <laughs> so, all of that comes under format, which you saw in notice writing already. Okay. So, moving on, what is an, I have already told you what is an advertisement, right? Have not I? I have told you what is an advertisement and an advertisement is a kind of, but the formal definition, you know what is an advertisement, but if you have to read its uh, formal definition, then it is here. An advertisement is a kind of public announcement asking for or offering services or buying or selling property, car for sale, second hand car wanted, it could be anything or a new toothpaste being launched by a company. So, that would be commercial advertisement. Giving information about missing persons, pets, etc. It is a potent, it is a strong medium deliberately used to influence the minds. Yes, not classified ads, but commercial ads are meant for influencing your minds, driving, looking at the billboard. It is completely, you know, a paisa vasul situation for the company who has put that advertisement up because they are able to catch your attention, because something catchy is there, Sub they have used a good model, a good picture, a good dialogue, sometimes it is also in the dialogue what is written there. So, it is used to influence the minds, tastes and even motives of the masses. It is an announcement made through a popular medium to target a large number of people. So, say you are in the marketing department of a company, you would like if you have to expand the business for your company and generate business for your company, what would you do? You would make use of all the possible options that have a larger tar target audience. Newspapers have a large tar target audience. Magazines have a large target audience. But what's, what has the largest target audience in today's time? Social media. So, people have a lot of social media ad advertisements also. Uh, if you have to give, a f give, give an advertisement on Facebook, then you have to pay for it. Like you could be writing any content for free, but if you have to give an, you have to convert it into an advertisement, then you have to pay them for it. Likewise for other platforms also like Instagram or anything. So, advertisements even though their format may have changed or they change according to the portals, but they are a very strong medium, they are a very strong tool in the hands of a, of an agency, of a company. What kind of language is used at an advertisement? Whether you you are writing for a commercial advertisement, larger advertisement or you are writing a classified advertisement. If you are slightly confused about what is a classified advertisement, please take up any newspaper. If you do not have access to a, a printed newspaper, a hard copy, please uh, google some classified advertisements for any newspaper, Hindi, English, whatever language you want to you know google, please see what is a classified advertisement, right. So, classified advertisement is for basic things, it takes a little investment of money. Commercial advertisement is when a new company or an, an already established company wants to propagate some kind of information about a product or they want to increase their sales and generate more business. So, whether it is commercial advertisement or classified advertisement, the language rules remain the same, that the language has to be brief. Why does it have to be brief? Because it takes money to find that space in a newspaper, magazine, billboard or have a commercial advertisement on television. If your advertisement is for a minute and not 60 seconds you have to pay uh, and not 30 seconds you have to pay more money for that. So, your the money, the investment of money is according to how much time you are occupying in that streaming uh, for that streaming service, right. And Likewise, how much space is it occupying in a newspaper, in a magazine, so or on a billboard. So, it has to be brief, you have to make it limited unless you want to invest great amounts of money. So, whether it is classified advertisement or commercial, make sure that you have a limited number of words. CVSC already has told you how many words they have to, you have to write around 50 words always. The sentences are not necessarily grammatically correct. 
Now this is very confusing. The sentences are not necessarily grammatically correct. What do you mean? We are writing our English exam. You are telling us in each and every question or each and every part of the syllabus that please use correct language, use correct uh, spellings, use correct uh, grammar. I tell you that because that is the requirement, but advertisements have a requirement that you convey the meaning in shorter sentences. So, not that deliberately you write wrong spellings, you do not have to do that, but you have to reduce the number of words. So, in that case abbreviations are also ok. For instance, instead of information you might write info ok. So, you can use easily understandable abbreviations, please do not use abbreviations which are not understood by common masses, most people know what info means right. But you cannot be writing each and every abbreviation that you use because you are on social media all the time, commonly accepted abbreviations can be used and the product should be clearly described. So, whatever you are selling, if you are selling a service or you are needing a service, the details of it should be very clear, keep the language fun if it is commercial advertisement, keep the language simple if it is a classified advertisement. So, commercial advertisement has to have a certain amount of you know uh, beat to itself, a certain amount of energy to itself because you are selling a product, you are a business, but if it is a classified advertisement make sure that everything is given, the details are clearly given and it is simple and easy to understand for people. So, classified and commercial I have already told you these are the two types of advertisements and the medium for them it could be newspapers, magazines, television, radio, cinema, leaflets, pamphlets, pamphlets are they are all extensively used for such purposes. So, even when you are listening to FM radio you have so many advertisements in between YouTube for instance. You, do you do you look at YouTube very often? <laughs> they have just too many advertisements. So, all of those people who have their advertisements they are they are paying money for that ok and who is the target? You are the target and you must have noticed that sometimes you are just waiting to skip the advertisement when it is playing, but sometimes they are able to sell that thing to you and you see the advertisement clearly and then you find out more about that product because you really liked it. Maybe you were looking for it, but you never saw an advertisement suddenly you see it on, on YouTube. So, even if they are able to sell that idea to or that product to a few people they have generated business. So, whether on television, newspaper, magazine, social media, anywhere any advertisement takes money and even classified advertisement they may take small amount of money for in a newspaper, but uh, they do take money. So, none of it is free. Classified advertisements are usually printed under classifieds, basic simple advertisements that you see uh, in the newspapers and usually it is written in most newspapers it is written classifieds. So, that is how they are given. So, it could be for a situation vacant, there is a vacancy in a company, there is property for sale, you are selling your house or you want to rent your property, then also you can give an advertisement you have a sister, brother or you yourself want to get married, you can give a given classified advertisement in the matrimonial section and if you have lost something or you found something then also you can give a classified advertisement. But see these are just limited uh, heads that I have shown you, headings that I have shown you, there could be more and more categories for classified advertisements, but all of them take money to be included in a newspaper. Commercial advertisements are usually printed for promotion or sales of products, a new uh, you know a new bike is being launched by a company, a new car, a new movie is coming up. So, the production house have given their advertisement, sometimes advertisements commercial advertisements occupy so much space in a newspaper that the entire front page is uh, the advertisement. So, it takes a lot of money to do that, but it obviously the reach is larger. Sometimes people have a small pam, uh, you know small pamphlet advertisement in between your newspapers that is also very common. These commercial advertisements can be of any size or color 
and they can contain a lot of illustrations, sketches, drawings. So, this is the only question in your current syllabus which requires, which, uh, which encourages creativity. So, if you are given a classified uh, ad to write, that is more and less like notice only, simple. But uh, if you have a commercial advertisement question, then you have a lot of scope of making it colorful, you can use colored pens, you can you draw things, you can make sketches, you can use the logo of the company and draw it. So, takes creativity, but most times they mention that they want a classified advertisement. So, if for all of those things lost, found, matrimonial and uh, if situation vacant, property for sale kind of things, you can without thinking even if they have not written that this is classified advertisement without thinking you will write a classified advertisement. But if it is for a product, a new product being launched by a large company, you can make a commercial advertisement which will be in a, a larger space, you will use colors, you will use catchy headlines, you will use catchy language and attract attention and give details about the product that you are selling. Different fonts can be used, if it is a commercial advertisement, you have the liberty of using different fonts. So, you can use different styles of writing, these occupy more space. If you are attempting such a question in the exam, please utilize the entire page to write them and of course, they are more expensive. See there is this question here, I am not showing you any commercial advertisement because you already know how a commercial advertisement is written and on this board I cannot show you anything colorful picture like because it won't reflect very well. So, you won't be able to see it clearly if I show you a picture here. So, you can always google them or see them in the newspapers that if, if you are attempting before I see the questions, if you are attempting a commercial advertisement then you will make a box, you will try to include pictures and you will use catchy uh, pieces of catchy headings, ok. You will use catchy headings here, catchy headings and pictures are used, you could be using a logo and do not crowd it up, see make it intelligent as an advertisement, do not crowd it up writing just too much and nothing is clear. So, it has to be attractive, it has to be beautiful, but it also has to serve its purpose. What is the purpose of a commercial advertisement? To sell the service to a large number of people, okay? So, remember that these are the requirements for a commercial advertisement and give all the details of the product that you are selling. See a few examples on the web, you will understand what a commercial advertisement is. You already know about them, you see them all the time. So, if it is a classified ad, this question, if this is the question, you are the manager of ABC Limited Sector 30 Gurgaon, you need an efficient data entry operator. So, you are looking for a data entry operator <laughs> for your office and you are the manager of this company ABC Limited Sector 30. Your designation is manager as they have given and you are looking for who? A data entry operator in your office. Write an advertisement. See they have not written here that it is a commercial, it is a classified advertisement, but you already know that this has to be a classified advertisement because this is not for selling a product and the launch of a product and the you know mass targeting of the uh, people, it is not for those purposes. So, it is to be covered in the classified section of the newspaper. So, write an advertisement for this, you will always like you do in the case of notice, like you do in the case of notice, you will put this into a box, ok. So, you are going to put this into a box, this entire thing, please do not make the box like this. Ok, <laughs> this is just some random effort here, make a clear like take a ruler and make a box and uh, write situation vacant, situation vacant means there is a job vacancy, this should be the heading and then you will write very clearly whatever you want to. So, what would be the things that you like say you need an employee, you will specify education, uh, experience, age, things like this 
which you look for in a person. So you will write wanted an efficient, smart, hardworking data entry operator for a leading manufacturing company in Gurgaon. The qualification is mentioned here, graduate, he should be a graduate and you have also mentioned the age because you don't want some, somebody very experienced also, maybe you don't have the budget for that kind of a person and you can write because it is a data entry job so you can give some additional information here that he should have a good typing speed so here it's written that writing speed should be this preference to those who have one or two years of experience salary negotiable you can very well mention the CTC the pay package also the annual pay package if you want to but you can also write salary negotiable that the salary can be discussed later apply with a CV and a cover letter within CV is the curriculum YT the resume and you have to apply with a CV and cover letter you have given contact details and the maximum uh, duration during which they can apply so you have written from the date of issue of this advertisement this is the duration for which this position is open so anybody interested should co contact this person sometimes the phone number is given like they have given the address here so people can be writing a cover letter and CV and emailing uh, sorry they could be uh, mailing them the snail mail style the you know the regular letter style but you can give the email address you can give the mobile number the landline number you can add more details here make sure you make this box make sure you write this heading make sure you keep your sentences crisp make sure you do not overload it with information make sure it is easy to understand and make sure you provide the contact details as best as you can. The next slide here, let me rub the board. So next slide has one more question and the answer to it is on the other slide, the next slide. So this is also a question from one of the CBSC exams, CBSC uh, papers that is a compartment exam in Delhi. Your younger brother aged 5 has been missing, you have uh, a ch child missing from your house and he has been missing for the last 3 days so the duration is given. Draft an advertisement in not more than 50 words for the missing person, missing person so under the classified advertisement missing persons column you would write this advertisement and you are doing it for a local newspaper, your name is given to you you are Ram Raman, if it is not given you will write XYZ ABC and I told you why you write anonymously. If it is not given to you, I did, I uh, discussed it with you in the last class. You have to give this contact number, they have specifically given you a contact number. If they have not given just write any random number, do not write your or your friends mobile number or landline number, write 12345000, you could write any number but do not give somebody's number there, alright. So these details have been given to us and I think these are good enough details because they contain the name, they contain the phone number, you have also been told when did that person go missing, also what is your relationship with this person, you are the elder brother and you could be the elder sister or the brother, they have not specified that you are also a male and the person who has gone missing, the child is 5 years of age. They have not given the name of the person who has gone missing but you can write something or I prefer XYZ but I think it is uh, Sonu written there, <laughs> but I, I prefer that you call uh, just write XYZ. It is hereby informed, see first thing is it should be in the box, I am not going that side and making it now, you know I want to make the box <laughs> and uh, give this heading missing person and you write it is hereby informed that a 5 year old boy from Central Park in Connaught Place, so his address is given, has been missing since June 2, 2021 and uh, you could write like sometimes people write the child went missing from a public park or any place but they have just given this area, so which is also okay and he has been missing since June 2 or you can say for the last 3 days since June 2, 2021 
the child responds to the name so no it is written in this answer but you could write x y z a b c like this it is uh, and the child is fair complexion obviously you have to give some markers of identity for that person that what clothes was he last seen in what was he wearing uh, what what's his hair like what's his uh, face like or uh, what is his height age all of these are markers of identity that you mention otherwise how would anyone recognize that child if they see him also the child response to this name is fair complexion and was wearing a red t-shirt and denim shorts when he was last seen so you could be adding when he was last seen here even though it is very clear that these are the clothes that he was wearing denim shorts and a red shirt were the clothes that he was last seen in anyone with any information about the boy may please contact you have written the name that's given in the question the phone number that's given in the question and because it is the case of a missing person it could be a missing pet also you could be announcing a prize sometimes people you know they can be selfish reasons for doing things so a lot of people might not respond very quickly until there is money involved so if they read the advertisement and see that there is money involved and if they see the child they might inform faster more promptly more responsibility than if it was no money involved but in any case this is an optional thing if you want to write the cash price so that's it we are done let me rub the board we are done with advertisements also so you know there are commercial advertisements and there are classified advertisements more often than not you have questions from classified advertisement in your exam but you could very well be getting a commercial advertisement it is up to you my only suggestion is that if you are attempting if by any chance you are getting a, a commercial advertisement and you love writing advertisements please do not spend a lot of time in designing that advertisement if you are attempting a commercial advertisement because you have to do so many other questions so don't spend long amounts of time it is a three mark question okay keep that in mind be a little practical when you are attempting the exam you may love to do commercial advertisements but only if you can do it do it in a few minutes then you do it otherwise attempt notice or attempt advertisements only if it is a classified advertisement it is just a general suggestion if you are a highly uh, you know speedy person and you can do things quickly and make a commercial advertisement very quickly most welcome what can be better any teacher loves to see a commercial advertisement a colorful thing in the exam all right we are done with it and i shall see you again very soon for our next lecture from writing skills until then please take care stay safe bye